Welcome back to another cooking video. I'm Chef Tavelle today I'm going to teach you how to make a delicious sushi roll with snow crab and a bunch of other things which are all combined to make just an awesome recipe. So enough said, let's get straight to it. Let's go. Okay, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is just take a snow crab leg and break it apart. Now these tendons, you want to make sure you get these out. You don't want to have that inside the crab leg. I'm just going to cut this little one off. There we go. And now I'm just going to cut this open with a scissor. You want to make sure that on the inside the scissor is up against the exoskeleton and touching the crab meat as little as possible because it's very delicate and it can get damaged. I'm just going to cut this open on one side and then I'm going to pry it open. Now a lot of people will also cut it open on two sides and then just separate the parts. But I feel it just damages the crab meat too much. So I do it on just on one side and then pry it open just like this until I feel I can just take a piece of crab meat out. So I'm nearly there. Just break that little part open a little bit more. And just like so, right now. Mm, there we go. Okay, now I'm just gonna attempt to pull this piece of crab meat out. Okay, be very careful and gentle when you're pulling it out to make sure you don't damage it. You want these whole. There we go. One piece of crab meat, done. Okay, so now I'm just going to make another couple. And now I'm just going to season it. Okay, I'm going to take some sea salt, sprinkle it over. Okay. And then a little bit of roughly ground pepper. Now I'm just going to scrape up the rest of the seasoning. I don't, no need to season both sides, just roll it around until you get most of it on the crab legs. There we go. And once you're done with that, you want to get some clarified butter and place it in a hot pan so it starts to melt. And once that's done and it's got to the right temperature, which is extremely hot, then you just take your crab legs and you pop them in there. I'm just going to place my crab legs onto the pan and just start cooking them. Now they're already cooked once, so what we're really doing here is just reheating them really quickly to just get a nice bit of brown color on the outside and just develop the flavors and just warm them up. So don't leave them in the pan too long, you really want to do it very quickly because otherwise you'll get very dry crab meat. Okay, so uh, here we go. Just flip it over again. Okay, nearly getting there. You flip it over one more time. I think they're basically done now. This is what you're looking for. And now I'm just going to take them out. Now what I've got here is some ginger salsa. I've shown how to make this in the past. A link is just appeared on top left corner of your screen to learn how to make that in another video I made. And what I'm doing here is I'm just placing it over a fine sieve to strain the juices out because I'm going to put in sushi roll and I don't want too many liquids in there. Okay. So what I've got here is a half avocado which I've peeled and taken the nut out and I'm just going to slice at a 45 degree angle going all the way across very very thin slices about one to two millimeters. Now notice I'm dragging only the tip of the blade in through the avocado because if you use the whole blade and you go up and down what will happen is the slices will stick to the blade and then you just won't get anywhere. So just drag the tip through and make sure they stick onto the other pieces of avocado. Just like that. The thinner the better. Alright, so just keep slicing. Nearly done. And once you're done, you can eat the end pieces and just add a little bit of lemon juice so it doesn't oxidize and put it to one side. Okay, so just there we go. What I said, eating the end pieces. And now just put it to one side and put some lemon juice on it. Okay, so what I've got here is 120 grams of cooked and seasoned sushi rice. If you don't know how to do that, then check out the video I made by clicking on the top left corner of your screen. Now you just want to spread it out evenly, the 120 grams, which is about four ounces. 
and just make sure you spread it out nice and softly over your half sheet of nori. Don't press it down, just fluff it out. Now you want to flip this over and place it onto a bamboo rolling mat with a plastic bag over it. This stops the rice sticking to the bamboo mat, which is very annoying. Okay, so take that uh, ginger salsa you saved earlier and put a very, very thin layer across your sushi roll. Now, you don't want to put much because this will overpower the crab otherwise. So be very, 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 very frugal with this. Okay, so now I'm just going to add my succulent, deliciously cooked crab legs. Look at those. Wow, I just want to eat them right now. Okay, so roll it up by lifting the back end of the rolling mat over it and then curling it up. And then you roll it up one more time over closing the roll now. And then you roll it forward one more time just to shape the roll. And there we go. That's the sushi roll. Simple. Now, I put it to one side so you can place the avocado parallel to the sushi roll. There we go. Now just spread it out on the board till you get to the same length as the sushi roll. Be very gentle not to damage the avocado. There we go, just about there. And now I'm just gonna trim the sides so that every sushi roll piece is exactly the same. And the excess avocado, you can use it for guacamole or some garnishing or just eat it. Avocado is delicious, so. And there we go, just place your avocado over the sushi roll. And just put it back. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of cling film over it to keep the avocado on the sushi roll as I cut it later. So just add it on and press it down with bamboo rolling mat, just like this. There we go. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my very sharp knife and place it in some water so the rice doesn't stick to it much. I'm just gonna cut the sides off. Now, if you want a knife this sharp, you can also buy one by clicking on the top left corner of your screen and you can check it out. Okay, so here I'm just gonna cut the sushi roll in half, then I'm gonna cut the halves into three pieces each, which will give me a total yield of six pieces of sushi and two end pieces, which I'll eat up. Now I'm just wetting the knife again so the knife doesn't stick to the rice as much again. And now I'm just gonna cut the other half into three pieces also. Okay. Now I'm just gonna firm it back up with the sushi rolling mat again, just to make sure they're all exactly the same again and then take the cling film off very delicately, making sure the avocado doesn't come off with it. And then just dispose of those end pieces into my tummy. Okay, so now I'm just gonna plate up. Spread out three little pieces of sushi and then place them onto your sushi platter. Uh, if you want the same platter as this, you can get it by clicking on the link on the top left corner of your screen. And just do the same for the other three pieces. And just put them parallel, just like so. And now I'm just gonna take a cucumber whale, which I made before. And you can check out a video how to make this by clicking on the top left corner of your screen right now. Then I'm just gonna put a little bit of spicy mayo sauce over every single sushi roll. Also, you can check out how to make the spicy mayo sauce by clicking on the top left corner of your screen. It's a very simple sauce to make, but very delicious. Make sure to add a very, very small amount of popular sushi. You don't want to overpower it. You don't want to have just a ridiculous amount of sauce over it, like some restaurants do sometimes. Okay, so once you've covered every single one with a little spoonful of spicy mayo, you add some masago fish roe. This is truly delicious stuff. It's Kaplan roe that's been seasoned, and you can buy this in Chinese groceries and a lot of supermarkets nowadays. But otherwise, you can also order it online. It's, I love this stuff. And I don't really actually like many fish rolls. So if you haven't tried this, just make sure you try it. Okay, so I'm nearly done there. Okay. All right, once you're done with that, you add some pickled ginger and a little wasabi flour. You can also learn how to make the wasabi flour in another video I made by clicking on top left corner of your screen right now. And then add some soy sauce and voila. Okay, so this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up to let me know. And I just wanted to end this a little bit differently this time. I want to get to know my subscribers just a little bit. So I thought I'd kick it off with asking you all a question. 
why do you watch me? Is it for entertainment? Is it for sushi recipes? Maybe you plan to cook sushi in the far, far future or you just wanted to know how it was made. I don't know. Just let me know your responses in the comment section below and I'll promise to read them all and get to know you guys a little bit more. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, check out all my other videos by clicking on the right. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel right now by clicking on the top left of your screen. Thanks for watching. I'm Chef Deville. See you guys next week. Goodbye.